Hey everyone, uh, I have just completed book three of Sin City, and this one is of course called The Big Fat Kill, uh, and the same character from the second book, Dwight, carries on into book three here, um, and it's really hard for me to describe i really should have put more thought into this um but it's not quite on par in terms of storytelling as the first two for me personally um but it's still really good and the artwork is still fantastic um this is again if you've seen the the film this was um covered in the first film along with some of the other books um now I, I did want to say like i know frank miller wrote 300 and i have bookmarked that little scrap of plastic there at the bottom chapter five and there he goes with a drawing of a spartan and talking about king leonidas and I wonder, I, I'm given to wonder, I haven't looked into the timings, but I would have to assume that he wrote this, drew that picture, and then went, I want to do more of that, and then ended up writing 300. Um, so I thought that was interesting. Um, I will say, I haven't actually read 300 as a graphic novel, because I think I was priced out of it. I saw it once, and I was like, ah, can't, can't afford that for a graphic novel, to be fair. Um, but the film was entertaining. Um, but yeah, here we are with Dwight, and Dwight is, um, again, there's a lot of ladies in this. Dwight's always involved with a lot of ladies. Um, and it all centers around, um, his new temporary girlfriend, uh, is being visited whilst he's there in her flat by someone she sees like quite casually on the side and this person she sees is quite vicious and nasty and brutal towards her um and it kind of starts when um he gets into the apartment where they're at uh, and if you haven't seen the film or read this book then i don't really want to spoil like where it goes but it's quite fun um, because you kind of get um, into Dwight's mind quite extensively um, but it's pretty awesome and yeah I mean just the artwork I love that the rain that Frank Miller does in these Sin City novels the rain shots are just fantastic um, but yeah, it's a bit, um, into, like, gun porn. <laughs> this, I mean, the other, the other ones, I suppose you could argue they are as well. But in this one, it's taken up to the next level, essentially. Um, but I don't know why I'm making this so long. This is a satisfying graphic novel to read. Not quite as badass as the first two, but not in any way um, disappointing. Just a nice, solid story uh, with some unusual twists and turns. So, yeah, The Big Fat Kill by Frank Miller. Uh, I would still recommend. Also, I mean, let's be honest. Like, you see the side. That's part of a character. So when you buy all the Sin City novels, you line them up, you get like a... A character drawn on the spines so if you're gonna buy a couple you might as well buy them all otherwise you're not gonna have a complete picture and that kind of thing irritates the crap out of me and that's where we're finishing folks thanks for watching farewell <laughs>